Hello guys, I'm Paolo here again. Welcome back to my channel. Well, walk, walking from work. It's about five to nine now. That's what you get walking in London. Quite excited, it's coming up to my house and I should have a package from uh, Sleek Revolution. And hopefully, it's there, delivered by DPD, accurately as normal. So, let's take a look. Well, I did tell him to leave it on my porch in a green container and voila, DPD from Sleek Revolution, <laughs> hey, I was waiting for this for quite a long time, so let's take a look what's inside. So guys, hello, 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 and you won't get better first impression review as this. Just walked in, here's the package. This is the new remote from Sleek Revolution. Got my Flex eboard already, but let's start with opening this up and actually looking at what's inside. So guys, so what's inside the package from Sleek Revolution? Let's cut it open. And let's take a look. So, some sort of instruction. Business cards. Well done, Rob. Thank you very much. I actually ran out of this because I had to give out most of the cards I already had so far because this board is so good looking that people do ask and I give the cards out. Ah, I also got myself a nice carabiner uh, keychain uh, neck uh, strap, I would have thought. Spot on. Thank you so much. I didn't expect this, but Robert, thank you so much. I guess that's for all the... Uh, Good reviews that I've done so far. And now, are you guys ready? I am not sure if I am, but here it is. A case. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Slick, Slick Revolution branded case. Quite hard. It very resembles a case that sometimes you get with expensive sunglasses. So that is really, really nice if you're traveling. Let's open the case up and look at this beauty. A brand new advanced remote controller from Slick Revolution. So you get the controller, the wristband with Slick Revolution logo press button. So this push button here is to adjust the strap on your arm. Very, very nice. So let's put the remote on the side and see what else is in the box here. So we've got an instruction. Slick Revolution Advanced Wireless Controller instruction that will most likely give you a, a first steps, how to set it up, what the buttons do and everything else. That is spot on. Thank you for that. Quite good quality, all in English. Spot on. Further down inside, and guys, do not make this mistake. I'm cheating a little bit because I have seen a couple of photos already on uh, Facebook. So I know that's right underneath the soft padding of the case, there is a chip. So chip is safely stored right underneath here and also a packet with two replacement screws. So when you get your controller, don't panic if you don't find your chip straight away. Check underneath the soft lining of the controller secure case. So let's take a look closer at the controller itself.
So guys, the brand new advanced controller by Slick Revolution. First glance, and I swear to you, this is the first time I see this remote in my life. Build quality. It is quite heavy, or it is heavier than an original remote. So let's take a look. This is the original remote from Slick Revolution. It's quite worn out. I had a board for a quite long time, and she never let me down so far. So the size-wise, the new remote is slightly larger. Definitely and absolutely and completely different design and shape of the remote. So in comparison, Slick Revolution Advanced Controller, that's one right there, Slick Revolution Original Controller, this one right here, and also a controller that I'm using for one of my uh, DIY electric skateboards, which I've got quite a lot of videos about on my channel, so please check it out, the Mini Remote by some Chinese company, not sure, quite cheap, does the job. So you can, as you can see, a variety of shapes, variety of design, meaning the Mini does have a trigger and also wheel kind of design, so it's one in two. The original Slick Revolution controller does have a joystick type of remote which is very very nice. I would like to mention something to you guys that the original controller is actually very very reliable it still holds the charge for a very long time it did never cut out on me it did never disconnect from the board and I had my Flex e-board since 2017 the end of 2017 I've got one of the first Flex e-boards carbon edition that was sold uh, by Sleek Revolution and I really do like this controller it never never let me down it's very light I know it's cheap looking and cheap feeling but the uh, performance of this controller is actually impeccable it's very very good so let's take a look closely at the new and advanced controller by Sleek Revolution so guys advanced controller by Slick Revolution. So, the first opinion. Quite hard wearing. It feels quite strong. It's not rattly. It's not light. So it feels very, very decent. It feels like a nice and strong hard wearing plastic. It's not smooth. You got a bit of roughness to it, which is fair enough. Uh, brass screws. Nah, I'm not sure if I am very excited about the brass and black. Fair enough, why not? Uh, the biggest difference is, is actual positioning of the controller in your arm. So it does feel like, um, like a joystick on a Wii or something like that. Like a Wii joystick controller. Which is quite nice actually, why not? I do still prefer the shape of the original controller because it is on a shape of like a uh, like a droplet so it is very very comfortable in in your hand and I don't know it just falls in very nicely maybe because I'm used to it really much this new controller is slim so it's a bit squarer but still feels very nicely in your hand not an issue I'm sure I can get used to it so the biggest differences are the original controller used to have a joystick type of lever that would allow you to either send the board forward, slow down or brake. At the front here you used to have a button that would activate the controller and connect it to your board and also you would be able to change your speed setting by pressing the forward, pressing the power on, and that would be your high speed setting. So, this is the old controller by Slick Revolution, 
the new control bus leak revolution has definitely changed a lot instead of the joystick you do have now a wheel it's quite large it got teeth on it as you can see here so this is obviously to stop your thumb from slipping away you press forward to go forward and backwards to slow down I'm not quite sure how this is going to work with the gloves on because I do like to have my gloves on when I test boards I go high speed safety is a must guys please check out videos on my channel about safety equipment I'll test this out I'll let you know how it goes the biggest difference as well is that now you have dead man's trigger so pretty much unless you press this button here you will not be able to go forward you can still brake without hitting this trigger here the dead man's trigger but you won't move forward unless you hold this button down well I need to still try this out because it needs to be comfortable to hold this button down and the same time pressing the wheel forward so it's kind of you using both fingers at the same time so the position of the controller in your arm sorry in your hand is quite restricted so it needs to be just like that so you have to press on this and press this forward however on the older remote you can just have this any way you want in your hand and as long as you pressed the joystick forward you are going that's it you can do it like this you can do it any way you really want so dead man's trigger still need to test to find out so guys enough said I guess uh, about the differences uh, let's look closer at this uh, new advanced controller where well, it does say warning risk, risk or death or serious injury hmm okay that is a bit uh, alarming that the remote will say that but I guess it's true if you are stupid on your electrical skateboard that's pretty much what it's going to lead you to either risk of death or the serious injury yeah well or both at the same time so at the front here you will have a button I would say this is your forward and reverse which is new edition this is not what you get with the original remote you don't have the option to reverse your motors I am not really sure if I'm going to ever use that uh, why would I want my board to roll backwards mm, not sure but let's test it out so I assume this here is the power button this is the first time I see the remote so guys forgive me if I'm wrong so first impression let's turn the power on little green button lit up and now we've got the LCD screen on so I do assume that the battery indicator on the left hand side is the remote the one on the right hand side is the board and the reason why it's showing empty and as you can see this wheel sign blinking is because my flex e-board is not yet connected to this new remote so so far so good very nice and slick looking remote haha <laughs> jokes on me slick revolution slick looking remote slick looking screen very lovely it's set up to eight kilometers an hour at the moment this can be changed to miles an hour whatever your preference is and your understanding well so far so good it does look uh, very nice very slick uh, let's turn this off definitely I'm sorry I'm repeating myself I'm definitely gonna have to uh, get used to this uh, dead man's trigger to be honest with you so I kind of have to hold it in my hand press on the trigger and at the same time operate the wheel I don't know we'll see I'm not sure if this is my favorite option but 
Either or, if I don't like it, I'll find a way to constantly press this trigger and not to worry about it. That's pretty much what I've done on my uh, <laughs> on my trimmer for the bushes. Uh, they got one of them safety triggers. I just zip tied it because I want to operate it one-handed. Don't do it. It's not safe. This is obviously meant or the, for the situations if you fall off the board, you release the trigger because you automatically would do and the board will stop. Or as also meant to not activate your board if you accidentally hit this wheel. Well, we'll see. So, next step, let's install the chip onto my board.